My name is Anna Sanchez, and I can't imagine my life without the LGBT studies minor. LGBT studies has welcomed a relentless internal critique within the field of the categories it's based on. L, G, B, and T. What are these categories? Do they have any, you know, necessary existence? Need they be so salient in our everyday lives? I think that LGBT studies is wonderful because it anticipates, encourages its own demise. Not that it would go away, but that it would morph into something else. And I think that if you want to see why LGBT studies is relevant you just need to turn on the TV the radio the internet open a magazine you can't escape it it's everywhere when you grow up for example if you're Latino you grow up in a family that's most likely also Latino or mostly Latino and you have that oral history you have that community built around you that knows the history knows the issues whereas you grow up LGBT or queer you grow up in a family that's most likely straight so there isn't the same knowledge passion there for it Passion is the most durable form of intellectual capital. Its students bring a whole lot of passion to their work in LGBT studies. Queer history has always been a part of Latino history, of American history, and of world history. Yet we don't come to realize this until we take the LGBT studies minor. It's not in our elementary textbooks, it's not in our high school textbooks. And that's why the LGBT studies minor is critical to our college education and our life as human beings.